Does anyone know what white, red, or pink noise is? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. When all frequencies happen simultaneously, the result is called noise. White noise is similar to white light in that it has equal power density at all frequencies. When represented on a logarithmic scale the way people actually hear, the energy distribution of white noise is skewed toward the high end. If you attenuate white noise at 3 dB per octave, you end up with pink noise, where the strength of each frequency is inversely proportional to the frequency itself, so pink noise has equal power in every octave. This makes it perfectly flat when viewed logarithmically, and also very useful for audio professionals. Attenuate white noise at 6 dB per octave and you get red noise, also known as brown or brownian noise, as in brownian motion. Here, the power of each frequency is inversely proportional to the square of the frequency, so it presents as the opposite of white noise, with more energy in the lower frequencies. Although the term noise has a negative connotation for most audio professionals, white noise is used to test filters and amplifiers, and pink noise is used to test the frequency response of mics, speakers, and rooms. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.